All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about Reggie Jackson, the former Detroit Pistons. So yesterday, the Pistons played up against the Los Angeles Clippers. We got to see a few former Pistons in um, the Morris brother, Reggie Jackson, and Luke Kennard. And during Reggie Jackson's post-game interview, he spoke about the Detroit Pistons and his time here. And he actually showed a lot of love to us. So... I saw this clip and I wanted to share it with you guys. But before we get to all of that, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 130 likes. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. Now play the intro. Subscribe to Joe Polo 10. Okay, so Reggie in his post game interview after the Clippers beat the Detroit Pistons, play that clip right now. Put my 3 1 3 up in here. Oh, shoot. Talk about the Smurder. Oh, huh? Talk about the Smurder. No, 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 no. That wasn't the Smurder. That was the D. That was the boss up. Baby. You ain't seen them when they was hitting it? That's, a, that's the D. <laughs> where that's the, obviously you play here, but where that, where, where that come from? What? The boss up, I don't know if you got to ask Vince. That's, that's a joint out here, I mean. They got a lot of things DVE out here, so I learned a lot being out here, appreciative of it. I mean, Coney's bossing up, Buffs. I mean, put on my dress, like, uh, there's a lot of uh, Detroit love. There's definitely a lot of things that are um, just straight Detroit, so I mean, but I, I'm sure the fans already knew what it was as soon as I did, so. Yeah. Now, there's, there's mad love always um, being here. Definitely, you know, I started in OKC, but a lot of my maturation process started here. So when I was brought here young, um, I even wore the, the, the Tommy Pickles hat. That's truly how I feel. I felt like I came in here. I'm here in Rugrat. Um, I was a baby. They raised me. I went through a lot of ups and downs, injuries, uh, good seasons, bad seasons. But I think I learned how to carry myself by being here. And, um, you know, this is a hidden gem. So I'm always appreciative of my time here. I'm always thankful for the, for the people I met here, for the for, uh, fans and for the organization. And really, more so the bonds that I made. That's the biggest thing is like, I, I still have um, some roots here and I, I definitely, like I said, this will be part of me forever. So I, was, I always love coming back and playing here and seeing that. Uh, catching up with people, so routines aren't usually the same when I come to this building. Um, I'm an even shooting routine, so I started off slow. I had to say what's up to everybody, but it's love. Like, it is nothing but love. Yeah, so honestly, it felt pretty good to hear Reggie Jackson saying that about our team and about Detroit. You know, I'm very happy that there's no bad blood. You know, no one's holding any grudges with this whole situation. And he seemed to just, you know, move on from his time here. And it's actually important to hear him say things like this because word of mouth definitely matters in the NBA. When it comes to free agency and guys are determining what teams they're gonna go to, if they look at a place like Detroit and they see former players bad mouthing the team, they're probably gonna be less inclined to sign with that team. So it's good to hear someone like Reggie saying something positive so that in free agency, guys will take into account that former Pistons players speak highly of the franchise. And then another point that I wanna speak on that you know I've mentioned before in the past, but when it comes to players and before they come to Michigan, right? They usually have this bad reputation of the state and especially when we talk about Detroit, they typically just don't wanna be here and have a negative view on us. But once they come to Michigan, once they spend some time in Detroit, after they leave, they typically love it. So I mentioned that point before in the past, but I wanted to reiterate it again. Guys have a negative opinion about Michigan and they come here and end up loving it. And then speaking about Reggie Jackson and you know his particular time here in Detroit, um, he spent six years here, had a few pretty solid seasons. Um, his first season, which was his best scoring year, he averaged 18 points per game. That was in 2014. And also to go along with that, he averaged nine assists. So 18 and nine in his first year here in Detroit, which was his best year, statistically speaking, was pretty solid. He also got to make it to the playoffs a few times here in Detroit. Heck, I even went to one of those playoff games when we went up against the Cleveland Cavaliers game three here in Detroit. I will never forget that where, you know, Stanley Johnson went head up with LeBron James. And I remember that KCP dunk where the entire crowd went crazy. I will never forget that moment. So there were a few bright spots, you know, during Reggie Jackson's tenure here in Detroit. And, you know, it's unfortunate that it didn't work out because of Stan Van Gundy. 
he made some bad decisions that really, you know, wrecked this team. And trying to build around Andre Drummond is just not a good idea. Drummond is a fine piece, but he's like your third option at best. He should not be your number one guy on the team. So when you try to build around someone like Andre Drummond, like Stan Van Gundy did, you're just going to fail because Drummond is a complimentary piece to your true superstar, which the Pistons did not have. So yeah, man, I just wish it worked out for all of our guys, Andre Drummond, Reggie Jackson, KCP, Tobias Harris, Stanley Johnson. I really did love that Pistons team from a few years ago, and it's unfortunate that it didn't work out, but it is what it is. I wish all of those guys the best in the future, and I appreciate Reggie Jackson for saying this about our team and about Detroit. So Pistons fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 5K, and I'm out.